Hello, this is a short introduction how to use the presentation checklist. Its aim is to give you scientists a guideline how to present your research to the public. By the public, I mean everybody else that is not from your group. Yes, I also do mean other scientists, because they too want to be entertained and they too want to understand instantly what you are talking about. Now the most important lesson to learn here is that you always have your presentation checklist with you. That's why it's printed in a name card format, so whenever you need it you can just take it out of your wallet and check whether you are about to do it right. That's why it's called checklist. It has a structure side and an appearance side. Let's have a look at this one first. Basically it's a list of behaviors you should display when you give a public talk. Watch this. The fungus attacks the banana's roots and causes the entire plant to wilt. Now, of course, this is a great problem for banana farming. Here, banana is a very important food crop all over the world. USA consumes 30% outside of it. This causes the whole banana plant to wilt and eventually die. Gene from the wild banana will make the native banana so much stronger. It's really amazing. So that's why we take a gene from a wild species and insert it into domesticated species. That will make the domesticated uh, stronger. Multitrophic interaction research has shown that circumcision will cause mRNA to go junk. Take the root and uh, a little knife and you put the knife to the root and you kind of do like this in a really nice round cut. Not too deep, I mean just one millimeter or now to the other side. It tells you exactly how to structure your presentation. The shorter it is, the more you should stick precisely to this format, because it is designed to bring enlightenment even if you only have got 30 seconds. Humans are with their brain always somewhere else, no matter whether they stand in a lecture hall or in a room full of posters. So you have to grab their attention first. You have to tell them why it is important to listen to you right here, right now. Bananas are one of the most important fruit crops in the world. In fact, you eat more bananas than apples. Problems are the sources of all action. No problem, no motion. No challenge, no thrive for perfection. You too, as a scientist, are doing research because nature has challenged you with a problem. So tell your audience what this is. But now banana farming has a problem. A tiny fungus attacks the roots of the plants and causes the entire plant to wilt. This has a tremendous effect on plantations all around the world. The total area goes down rapidly. What is your part in overcoming the hurdle? What do you do to make it work? You are the main actor here. So show your audience what you do to solve the riddle. Our lab tries to make domesticated bananas immune against the fungus by inserting a gene of a wild type. Now this is the most crucial part of your presentation. It is telling your audience how your research will help everybody. Maybe you are funded by tax money. So it's important to tell the taxpayers that their money is used on the common good and not just wasted on some experiment that is on nobody's interest except yours. If we succeed, we can once again produce enough bananas to satisfy the growing global demand. That's it! Thank you for your attention! And don't forget, always have your presentation checklist with you, because it would be such a pity if people were unable to understand your fascinating science.